Mm-hmm. What's good, y'all? Mm-hmm. Be back with another video. Mm-hmm. You feel what I'm saying? You. 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 You know what I'm saying? Before we start anything, make sure y'all like and subscribe. You know what I'm saying? Get this out. Get this gospel out to everybody. Touch that needs to hear it. Touch the button, bro. It's not only for you. Don't be selfish. It's for others, too, man. Touch the button. All of them. Stop it. Stop gatekeeping, bro. Share. Gatekeep. Gatekeep. Oh! You're right. All right, but, um, yeah, man. You got anything in your mind? You got anything in your heart? I'd never be having anything in particular. It'd be everything. I don't know. I feel that. It do be everything that's an issue. (laughs) It should be a lot. I have to isolate something. Um... Go to Romans 6. Deeply. That's what he got me thinking about. Deeply. I don't know what in Romans 6 he wants us to talk about, but we gonna see. It's in there. Say that. So we gonna see. Ring a worm. Ring a worm. It's in the head, bro. Ha! <laughs> it's in the head. Romans 6. All right, I'm here. Okay. It says, knowing this, we talking Roman chapter six, you know, yeah, verse one. Yeah, uh, go to the part where it talks about Adam, I believe. It may not be that chapter. This is one of those chapters. Either six, five, six, or seven. One of those. Well, you don't find it, man. Two or five don't you know? I'm just looking for the name Adam. Where you at? Adam. Okay, hold on, hold on. Hold on. I see his name once. Hold on. Ring on worm. Nevertheless, death reigned from Adam to Moses. Even over them that had not sinned after the similitude of Adam's transgression. Mm, that's the it. figure of him that was the come. Okay. Yeah, that's it. it talks about like how Adam brought death to the world and then Christ came to save us. Let me go up a little bit. Let me see. Okay, there's a lot of spitting going on here. I'm just start reading from verse one, honestly. Just Romans chapter it. five, verse one. Just I'm gonna start read reading. Let's see what happened here. <laughs> I say, therefore, being justified by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ, by whom also we have access by faith into his grace, wherein we stand mm-hmm. and rejoice in hope of the glory of God. Oh yeah, first part talks about faith. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're in the right place. Bad, 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 bad. And not only so, but we glorify in tribulations also, knowing that tribulation worketh patience. Uh, yes. He, see, bro, Paul talking. You know uh, what I'm we'll start right there, honestly. Uh, just, just keep going down. Uh, all right, it's Romans chapter 5, verse 3, y'all, so y'all know. Yeah, read that real quick. Read that. And not only so, but we glory, we glory in tribulations also, mm-hmm. knowing that tribulation worketh patience, and patience experience and experience hope and hope make it not ashamed because the love of god is shed abroad in our hearts by the holy ghost which is given unto us lord have mercy just spitting he just gave y'all a layout but he gave everybody a layout literally bro he said through your troubled times still glorify god simple because he's doing stuff to you i'm saying he's helping you grow bro through those troubled times he's helping you be more patient and with that patience comes experience. Mm-hmm. So you'll be more experienced through those troubled times. So when the troubled times come, you know what I'm saying, you won't be shot. You won't you won't be like freaking out or nothing like that. You'll be like, okay, Absolutely. you guys doing something with me. Absolutely. So it'll bring experience, which brings hope. Mm. So through that experience, you'll always have hope, knowing that God is doing something great with you through that trouble. That he got you. And hope make it not ashamed. And you're not ashamed of that. It gets rid of that shame, but that's heat. 
That's heat. All right, keep going. <laughs> for when we were yet without strength, in due time Christ died for the ungodly. Mm -hmm. For scarcely for a righteous man will one die. Yet peradventure for a good man, some would even dare to die. Yeah, slow that down. Yeah, bro, slow that down for sure. <laughs> <laughs> slow that down. Slow that down. <laughs> gotta, look, gotta, gotta look at that one. A righteous man will one die. Mm -hmm. Yet for a good man, some would even dare to die. Oh, that's a difference right there. Well, so would anybody die for a righteous man? You see, a good a good man pretty much wouldn't even put himself in that situation to die for people. It takes a righteous man to do it. Oh yeah, that's what yeah, it seems yeah. like is going on here. And none of us can even be righteous, so you know you need Jesus, bro. Yeah, yeah, that is insane work right there. That's why he's our righteousness. That is insane we work. Once, once ungodly, but him himself. He had to tee up. He had to, he had to come down and tee up for he, us. He was like, all right, bro. <laughs> I know they can't do this. I'm going to come down myself, place my spirit inside of Mary, give birth to my son, which is also me at the same time, the capacity of God in human form to come down and try hard for us because we can't even be righteous, bro. That's, that's fire, bro. Hey man, if you don't love Jesus, you you tweaking, bro. I'm you're not gonna lie to you, bro. Like you're tripping. <laughs> you don't understand. You're tripping. You wouldn't be here, bro. All right, what else? What, what else we got going on here, man? <laughs> Would even die. Yeah. But God commendeth His love toward us mm -hmm. in that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. Much more than being now justified by His blood, we shall be saved from wrath through Him. The only way to avoid the Father's wrath is through Jesus Christ. That's it. It's the only way, bro. If you don't have Jesus, you're going. You're in God's wrath right now. You might as well stop right there. We yeah. might as well just. You're in the wrath right now. Ugh. Ugh. You really soak all that in. You really soak in. <laughs> this man loved us even when we were. Sinners. So Adam brought sin to the world, which brought death upon all of us. Mm. And then after Adam, everything just got real wicked. Everybody started sinning belligerently. It got mad wicked, bro. To where he had to rewipe it. He had to wipe it out real quick, restart. Man brought a flood, bro. He said, you know what, bro? Hold on. <laughs> Run his back. Ran it back, kept one generation of family, bro. He kept them. He ran it back, and we still doing bad. And the thing is, he already knows all this. And he's still patient enough to deal with it. Like He, he could have just wiped us up from the start, but he could have wiped us out. <laughs> but an unconditional loving God doesn't even want to do that, bro. That is crazy. He loves you right now. You, If you're doing something bad, if you have done something bad, he still loves you. Oh yeah, now He has never stopped loving you. Oh, yeah, now we're spitting. He never has stopped. Now we're spitting. Yeah. You got to realize that. It's not even about what you do at this point, bro. It's do you love him or do you not, bro? It's that. It's not that. It's that simple. Do you love him or not, bro? He recognizes who loves him. So he gonna help you out, bro. He got you. He gonna save you from whatever it is, whatever you're going through. Because you love him, he loves you. That's what a relationship is, bro. Now, the people that aren't with him, that's where things get interesting. Get a little tough. Because you can't <laughs> even survive without God's love, bro. You can't live without the love of God. Everything will be at your hat. You have no defense, no offense. You gonna think you can do things on your own, you can't. It's like things are gonna come at you. You have no counter. It's like that's like you boxing and trying to read how this person is, but you can't read them. Like, bro, that's like going to play a basketball game without doing watching your film first, bro. You're gonna get mollywopped. You don't know who you're facing. You don't know your enemies. You don't know the one that's on your team. 
So you really just existing, bro. Literally, bro. And those bad days are going to come, regardless of whether you want it or not. Everybody has that evil day. It's inevitable. It's Everybody written. does. It is written. <laughs> it has to happen. Like he said earlier, bro, tribulations. We trying to, you got to work, bro. You, it's going to bring you through something. The tribulations are trying to push you to something else. It's trying to grow you and trying to increase your capacity. So it's going to come eventually. Like you have no choice but to go through something so that you can grow. So we got to grow, bro. You want to be ready for it, bro. You have to grow. You make sure you're ready for it. Because you're going to fall a couple times, bro. I'm not going to lie to you. You're going to fall. We said this so many times to y'all. You're going to fall. It's real. You're going to fall. And with God, without Jesus, you're going to fall every time, too. You're never going to pass it. Which means you're going to be stuck on the exact same test your entire life. Because it's not like he's going to skip a test that you didn't pass. Mm -mm. Why would he do that? you still on this one test. Mm -mm. You're know, you going to stay here until you get it right. You're going to stay right there until you get it right. You can't progress until you get that one thing right. Whatever it may be in your life, bro. Everybody has something. That is crazy. Damn, you just got to let them take that bad thing and know that it's to improve you. And if you keep that in your mind, man, you'll be straight. Facts. That way, anything happens, bro. Anything day to day. Because day to day, something's going to happen, bro. You don't even you care don't even, no more, bro. You don't like, care. You're like, all right, cool. <laughs> let's find a solution and let's keep it pushing. You know, he got you regardless. Because if he gave you an issue, if he gave you a problem, if he gave you something to go through, then he gave you a way out of it as well. You're not just going to be trapped in there. He gave you a way out. It's up to you to figure out the way out. But the good thing is that the answer to the way out is him. Yeah. Like, he gave you the answer already, bro. I learned that this week too, man. When it comes to everything, as long as you have him, you have everything. You're straight. You, you have, chill out. You have money. You have whatever you want. As long as you have him. That is the source, bro. He is the source. He's the source of life, bro. Everything. He gives us life. Without him, we have no life. You can be on this earth thinking you have life, but you're honestly dead already. Yep. Yep. I was just thinking that in the car. I'm like, dang, bro. Because you don't have Jesus. Like, come on now, y'all. Man, oh, man. We got to help these lost souls out here, man. Man, there's a lot of them. It's a lot of them. That's why we here, bro. We, we got to talk to somebody. We got to speak some sense to somebody. Because they fed lies every day. We're all fed lies every single day. If you hop on social media, if you turn on your TV, if you look at an advertisement, it, lies is being fed to you left and right, bro. Constantly. Up, down. Left, right, diagonal. And there's very few people telling you the truth. So how are you supposed to be able to dif differentiate the difference? Like It's tough. I'm, I tell you, it's tough. It's tough. Because you don't know. <laughs> Which is why he says, go back to his word. Because that's what the truth is. Yeah. And that way, every time you see something going on, you know what the truth is and you know what, what the lies have been the whole time. The like, truth shall make you free. Not set you free, you make you free. It'll make you free, but you are free. Once you receive that truth, you're free. Mm -hmm. I'm thinking this all the time, bro. Like these eyeballs and these ears, bro, they're the biggest portals of either good or bad. It is up to you to filter out what you want coming into your life, yeah. into your head, to memorize. You got to be careful, bro, because you can definitely take in much more negative than positive. And next yeah. thing you know, your soul is in a bad state. Trust me. Boy, I, I, I didn't take so much growing up, bro. Some bull that I had no business even putting in my life, my body, my mind. Like, what are you doing, bro? And now I have to redo it and get cleansed through him. Now yeah. I got to read the Bible. Now I got to tee up, do all these things just to get cleansed. Like, so we telling you right now, before you even start going into all that bad stuff and Whatever you better go into, don't do it. Whatever it may be, but <laughs> don't do it. Whether it's for <laughs> money, whether it's whole, whatever it is, but don't do it. it. It's not worth it. It's bro. not worth it, man. It's not worth your soul. You need your soul. You need it. Without that, you're not going to heaven. I'm going to keep it a bug with you. You need your soul, bro. Because your spirit going to go back to God regardless. That's it. <laughs> the soul, the soul was formed, right? It, 
it spawned in after he made us. Body, he he the spirit in us, and the soul kind of it popped in. God didn't create your soul, so that's what the enemy's after, bro. That's the one thing he can attain. You can't get the spirit. You can't touch no spirit. But your soul is at attack, bro. He want that because through that he can mess with your your visions, your thoughts. Yeah. yeah. And it can get real. It can get real, man. <laughs> it can get real, bro. You under attack. So tee up, bro. Know that Jesus got you. You have someone that willingly came down here to sacrifice his life for you. Willingly. Willingly. And he won. So now that he won, just know that everything you go through that comes your way, you have victory through all that. Yep. You're on the side of the someone that has never lost at anything. No L's. Undefeated. He has never lost. All these things were ordained from the start, bro. The very beginning, he already knew the issues you would go through. And he gave you a way out of those issues from the very beginning. So if you really just intake that into your mind and know that you can win because he made you a way out, it is up to you to figure it out. Tee up. Tee up. It is up to you to figure it out. And don't think... I can't figure it out. I don't try to do that. Da, 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 da. Bruh. Read your word. Well, you don't start reading a little read bit. Read your word, bruh. You will feel so much better, bruh. Boy. You will feel rest. You will feel real rest. Yeah, without, without God, you don't get rest either. That's crazy, bro. Without God, you don't get nothing, for real. You, you really get no <laughs> benefits of life. <laughs> You get no benefits of life. You really don't get God, nothing bro. for real, bro. Just walking blind. That is crazy. You got people out here walking zombies, bro. Yeah. Yeah. Level zero bots for real. And it may not and it may not seem like it, but if you're spiritually if you're spiritually like that, you can tell. Yeah. Yeah. It'd be them people with you would think they they have everything together, bro. They be them people with the most money. They that's why I was yeah wealthy, famous, rich people, big scrilla, cheese, cheddar. It be them that are really going through stuff, bro, because they don't know the source of the money that they're even getting. They think it's them. Yeah, they think it. They think they doing they're doing it all. When in our reality, <laughs> we know who, who who got you that. Boy, we know. We know. You think it was your hard work, your grinding, your waking up early. I, I did this, blah blah blah. No. Well, he'll snatch that in a minute if he wanted to. I'm about to, to say, like... And you're going to be nothing. When you leave this earth, bro, that money don't come with you. You're going to be looking real dumb. Real dumb. <laughs> <laughs> real dumb. Hey, we already talked about money a lot, though, so... Not going to get too, to get too, too much deep. into that. We just know that's most of y'all issue. Yeah, that's most, that's most of everybody's issue. Everybody just money. want quick, fast money. Mm -hmm. That's what we were brainwashed to want, bro. Money. Everybody want to do OnlyFans. Now that's that's Everybody dumb. Everybody wanna like you're selling your body for money. That's dumb right there. This is God's temple. Now and you're dumb. selling you're selling his temple. That's dumb right for there. For something that you you could have if you just had him. Simple, bro. They don't know that though. <laughs> like they don't know that, bro. That's why you get all this money and still feel empty. You don't you don't have your father, bro. You're gonna feel worse. More money you get that you think you attain on your own, bro, you're gonna feel worse. That's that self righteousness, bro. It's not gonna hit, bro. You're gonna feel worse, I'm telling you. Not knowing that you're an enemy of God because you're being self righteous. Yep. And the last thing you wanna be on earth is God's op. Nobody wants to be God's op. They're not taking it serious, though, because nothing's happened yet. Yeah, to you're them. right. They don't wanna take it serious until something happens to them. Like we trying to warn you before something happened to you, bro. We trying to really help you. We trying to really get you armored up before things come. Because once, once it comes, nigga, you in it. But if you're self righteous, by the time he comes back, you are not going to heaven. You will be tormented for the rest of your eternity. Yep. He's not gonna recognize you. He's not gonna recognize you. He knows his people. You can be like, what is this? I, like, who's this? I thought you did everything on your own. What do you need me for? Bye. But God, please, please. I didn't know. I, no, it's too late. We just told you, bro. 
I'm saying we, we're telling you right now. <laughs> He's gonna be like, I have servants that are trying to tell you, but you didn't listen. I'm like they were telling you, <laughs> they, they told you, like. <laughs> but you still, you're so righteous. I don't know who you are. That's gonna hurt. Like just simplify your life, but simplify it. Like you were literally born, and you did nothing about it. Like you were born, you didn't even make yourself born, but you didn't make you. It's so tough, bro. Like it's so tough. <laughs> you think you could do things on your own? You didn't make you, bro. You didn't make you. People who don't believe God is crazy to me. Like it's you, crazy. Like, what, what? Look at a mountain. Do you see how big a mountain is, bro? You really think we're making that? You think somebody was like, oh, I'm about to ding, 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 <laughs> ding, ding, ding. like no, bro. That's a big, fat, mighty hand that did that. That's. You really think a human made the ocean? You really think a human made the creatures in the ocean, bro? And even y'all know we haven't identified all the creatures in the ocean. We can't, bro. And we can't do it. <laughs> <laughs> and you really think nobody created the creatures that are in the ocean that we can't even identify and we live here? If that don't let you know there's something bigger out here, man. I'm going to say, them like, people went down there in that submarine and got demolished because they weren't supposed to be down there that far we have no chance without jesus that is and he has to take us down there if he wants say, to if, he <laughs> want, if he wants to take you down there he'll do it he'll do it but if you go down there uh freaking on your own an bro. unauthorized restriction area bro. like you know this is <laughs> areas blinking bro you're not even supposed to be in there but it's red map be like what get him out of here right what is this <laughs> <laughs> What? Y'all, I tell y'all, bro. Y'all see all this stuff on the Jacob Star showing up, two moons, World War Three. It's time. It's time. <laughs> it's time to <laughs> tee up, bro. <laughs> it is time to tee up. I'm gonna say because everything that is in the Bible is happening. It's happening. Oh my god, it's happening right now, this day. The stuff I've heard about heaven, I want y'all to experience that, bro. And I know you want to experience it too. Facts. Like one of my goals in life is to really see Jesus before I even make it to heaven. I want to see heaven before I go there. I want to. I want to see everything before I even <laughs> get there. I'm like, oh, 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 I can't wait to get there. I'm kind of scared to see hell, but, but, hey, man, if you see the good, you gotta his, see the bad. That's in his plan, man. That is what it is. It is what it is. You know, <laughs> it is what it is. Yeah, man, get right, y'all. For those who that don't believe, for the unbelievers, for real, this is for y'all. Those of you who believe, man, just keep doing what you're doing. Keep trying, bro. Don't don't, let don't your, give up. Don't let your mistakes make you give up. Don't give up. Because the the devil's gonna use your mistake as an opportunity to get in your head. That's what he does. Yeah, he's a master manipulator. And that's the only thing he can do. The man, the man's whack, bro. Like garbage. He takes advantage of, of people. He takes advantage of kids, too, bro. He don't care about no. He don't one, care about bro. nobody. No age range, nothing. But he don't care. No moral. That's why it's important if you have kids to pray for your kids, because the devil's after your kids too. Don't think your kids are not. Yeah, you, your kids more than you, bro. You see in California passing them laws about taking the Christian books away and putting in his LGBT stuff. That's him. That's what they are doing now. That's what they are doing. Like, I've been off the net, bro. Make That's sure. what they are doing. They trying to. They, they trying it, to brainwash the kids, y'all. They making it okay for you. At 12, 13 years old, when you don't even really know, for real, to change your body around, to make it okay to become a man or a woman. Oh, I feel like I'm a woman. I feel like I'm a man. Like, what are you talking about? Bro? He's making them confused at a young age, bro. And the confusion is not of God, y'all. If you're confused, it's not of him. It's straight enemy work. God wants you to know everything. He's not hiding it from He's you, bro. He's not hiding it, nothing from you. He's not hiding it from you. He even told you to seek and you will find. He's telling you to seek it's it. In I his got word. it. For you. Like, it's in, if y'all read your Bible, <laughs> what's up? No, what's up, bro? Run it. Ten seconds, bro. Run it, bro. I'm not about to keep doing this. Square up. If y'all would just read your Bible. <laughs> don't read your Bible, though. Square up, bro. You better get in some good information, y'all. Boy, I was thinking about in the car on the way over here, man. I was thinking about these, you know, these little. Christmas and 
you know, Valentine's Day or whatever. And I see how some some people don't celebrate it because they feel like it's against God, but it's not even that, bro. It's not even. I don't feel like. I, I honestly don't feel like it's that deep. It's not. Do you like it, bro? If it's Halloween. Do you like candy? You want candy? Go I'm not saying, candy, bro, bro. If my kid wants to dress up and go get some damn candy, he go. Gonna, get some I'm gonna candy, let him bro. do it. <laughs> it's some candy, bro. <laughs> it's candy. <laughs> People be making everything demonic. Oh. Y'all make everything oh. demonic. Christmas. Oh. Christmas. <laughs> Just because it's, it's Jesus' birthday, yes. But that doesn't mean we can't decorate a tree or, you know what I'm saying, give out presents to people. Out of any How holiday, is that demonic? Bro. Out of any holiday, you might as well celebrate Christmas, bro. For real. Because at least people are giving. That's probably, minimum. That's probably the happiest time around the world you're going to see. Or in the U.S. at least. That's probably know. the happiest time. I mean, people be stealing more, but hey, we, we. <laughs> <laughs> but that's probably when most people are happy. Mm -hmm. It's around Christmas time and Thanksgiving, giving thanks. Yeah, bro. It doesn't say in the Bible don't celebrate Christmas, Halloween, or Thanksgiving or Valentine. It don't say that. They bro. don't say that at all, bro. It's like some some of these Christians don't want to have don't like fun. Y'all don't like fun. That's the issue, but they be trying. That's always come back to this. Like you try to be perfect. <laughs> you know what? Stop yeah. trying to be perfect, boy. Because <laughs> I saw I saw a TikTok. That's what made me think of this. I saw a TikTok of people are like, um, they were like, I don't know what the caption said. It said something about not celebrating. <laughs> don't celebrate man, man made holidays, man. Because it's not godlike. Do what you want, boy. Excuse me? You gonna tell me what I can celebrate, what I can't? Do what you want. God wants you to have fun while you're on this earth. He didn't put on on this earth to be so damn serious, bro. At all, bro. He did not put you here to be perfect or self righteous. Like, See, like <sighs> he did not he he knows you can't be perfect, bro. That's why he told you to go enjoy, bro. Even in the Bible it says life is meaningless. It says everything you're doing is meaningless, so enjoy it, bro, because the will is done anyway. I promise you, if y'all would read Paul's letters, bro, it would change y'all perspective so much, bro. Goodness. This man, Paul, is basically talking to our generation, bro. That's in the New Testament. What is it? Romans, Galatians, Galatians, Corinthians. It's been... Ecclesiastics, Ephesians. Read all those, bro. You'll you'll know the truth. You'll know the truth. He talks the about line, marriage. Bro. He talks about he talks about so much in there. Read your Bible. Uh, yeah. mm. Like that's why, bro. Uh, yeah, yeah I ain't forget about y'all in the comments on TikTok. I ain't, I ain't forget about y'all. Y'all think y'all know everything in the comments? What they talking about? What well, they be that bull spitting? Of course they are. What that's else would they do? What even, else would they that's do? That's why I didn't respond to some of them. What else would they do? I was like, yeah, y'all think y'all know everything. It's cool. The people who think they know it all, bro, knowing that you don't know anything, you swear you know something. You you swear you know something. They be bro. thinking they so smart. You don't even know all the <laughs> bones in the human body. <laughs> thinking you know something, bro. You don't even know you. Thinking you know something. You don't even know yourself, bro. Don't you go tell, tell somebody you're, else. You're bro. Don't try to tell us what we know. Don't go commenting something you don't know, bro. You better not. not. Give me your phone. I'm tired of y'all. But for the people who are listening, yeah. This is your, this is your season of growth, bro. This, this is your, your season, season, for real. Now. Now is the time. It's the time that all the, all the mysteries that you've been wondering your whole life, bro. There's answers for it. All those prayers that you've been asked for, they're getting answered right now in this season. They're getting answered. I'm saying God put all the desires in your heart, but it's, you know what you like, you know what you're interested in, and he gave you answers. If you seek, you will learn everything about yourself you've been wondering, bro. He'll show you. You don't know it yourself, I promise you. The thing is about prayer, man. When you pray, you pray genuinely. God will guide you to that right place. Mm -hmm. But if you're not genuine about prayer, and the thing is, he can see, he can read your heart. So it's, it's no hiding. That's I, don't, I don't know why people think they can hide from God. You, you can't can. hide. 
We're, we're all part of him. He he feels what we feel, basically. There's no hiding. There's bro. no hiding. The sooner you realize, you might as well just talk to him like the one person that can know every secret you have, the better you'll be, bro. The one person you can talk about, the, the deepest, darkest thing, talk to him about it, bro. And he will shine light on it, and it will no longer be a dark place for you. It'll help you out so much. It'll help you out so much, man. Rest. It'll give you real rest. Knowing, bruh, that everything you're doing, it really don't matter because he got you in the first place. Filthy bruh. rags, bruh. He tells us, bruh. It's hey, filthy rags. We are made bruh. from dirt, bruh. <laughs> He made sure to get the most useless I'm material. Say, listen, I'm gonna use this. I'm about to use dirt. <laughs> <laughs> it's been created a little bit from my, from my red, bro. Like, come on, y'all. He's willing to use. That's how you. He's willing to use the most filthy, dirty people for his his blessing, bro. For his glory. For his own glory, bro. He's willing to use them. The rawest, dirtiest material, dirtiest people. It don't matter, bro. Because he knows that there's great in you. And other people are going to look at you on the outer and be like, uh, he's trash. Like, exactly. That's why I see, that's how I see P. Diddy right now. Y'all look at him as trash right now. Y'all don't know what that man was going through. Y'all don't know. God's going to use him to glorify himself. Watch. Y'all don't, y'all don't know what that man had going on. Watch. Y'all don't know what Diddy had going on, bro. Y'all have no idea what he had you have to see all the bad, because that's what the new does. They they put out bad things. They don't they don't ever put out nothing good for real. That's what the news does. They mess up your perspective on somebody, bro. Your perception on how you see people. Yeah. And you think they're doing something bad, yet God is like, no, I'm just I'm, bringing things to light. All the yeah. things that you had hidden, I'm bringing them to light so you can progress, bro. Yeah. So you don't know. You, you don't go back there. Nothing is hidden. If you've been doing devious things, he's going to bring it to light. He's going to bring it to light, whether you like it or not. And you may glorify himself. <laughs> you won't be able to get away with it right now, but mm -hmm. it'll be brought to the light eventually. So if you got things you hiding right now, bro, darkness, you got things you hiding. You, you go in your room, you do this. You lock the door, you do this at night. You don't have anybody seeing you. He sees you, bro. So you might as well confess right now, hey, I do these things. I know I do these things. I'm sorry that I do these things. Thank you for forgiving me about these things. I believe you. I trust you. I come from you. He can start work. being real. He can work with that. Be so real. Like, okay. He actually understands. All right. I'll start. I'll start. I'll start progressing him now. It's like you notice that you can't do these things, that you're doing these things, and you can't stop you can't without stop. me. He's the one that helps you. I am in the Bible. He says, "I am." He is everything. <laughs> Basically, he is. All the things you struggle with, bro. He can hold the weight of it. And he's the only one that could hold the weight of it. So why wouldn't you trust the one individual that can carry the burden of the entire world? So you're over here carrying burdens and making yourself so stressed out. Miserable. Depressed. Shoulders heavy. You're giving room for the devil to take advantage of you. That will see that like, ooh. Ooh, <laughs> ooh so today you having issues with this? <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm about, to, I'm about to send one of my strongest soldiers I mean, to you. <laughs> chest pass, boy. <laughs> he don't care. He doesn't care. He's going to use those. So if you give those issues to God, then the devil can no longer use these things against you because it belongs to God now. Cast, Cast your, your burdens onto me. <laughs> I was thinking the same verse, bro. Because <laughs> they think I won't. They think I won't do it, bro. They think it's really sweet. <laughs> like I won't get. Like I won't get like that. I really get like that. <laughs> oh, I yeah. really get like that, bro. Yeah. Cast yeah. your burdens on him, bro. Yeah. Lord have mercy, Lord. Please allow see people the, to see this. Man. You see the chair? Please, man. They need to hear this. Y'all lucky God don't have a chair to hit you with, boy. No, for real. Hey, but what are you? But the thing is, I will. I will. What's up? I will. Uh, I don't got a problem with it. And he's not gonna say nothing about it. He's like, yep, you deserved it.
<sighs> All right, bro. One last time, bro. Cash your burdens on him, bro. The devil uses your issues against you. Jesus takes your issues and makes it his own, so the devil can't do anything with that. He will place you in safety. He is your armor. Tee up. You have a real friend, Jesus. A real one. A real one. Not only your friend, but your father. Father, he takes on a lot of names. Because he can get he can he can carry him, bro. You don't call him the most high God for no reason. Almighty God for no reason. He's not for nothing, bro. We don't exalt his name for no reason. He's the truth, the way, and the life. He's the only way. Give it all to him, y'all. Be humble. Just carry on that humility, bro. Just understand that you are nothing without him. And once you know that, then you'll realize how powerful you really are because of him. That's glorifying himself. <clears throat> he teed up on you, bro. He put crazy, great things within you from some dirt. You know, we're made of dirt. We're made of dirt, bro. <laughs> he was just like, what, bro? What? We're made of dirt. You don't know how great you are until you learn Jesus, bro. You don't know how great you are. I'm saying we're we're learning right now just how fantastic we are. And we don't feel any guilt to say that because we know we only get it from one place. We know without him, we wouldn't be able to teach you up right now. We, there's no way. Not even a chance. Not even a chance, bro. We're going to start right here, bro. Let me go ahead and start right now. Before oh, I dude. start spazzing out on y'all. Y'all saw the, the chair, bro. They saw the chair. I get hit in the head over the chair with the name of Jesus. I get that chair in the name of Jesus. <laughs> Make sure y'all like, subscribe, bro. Make sure y'all share, man. Share, share, share. So you can help somebody else, man. Ask questions, man. Just talk, speak, bro. Ask. Ask those questions.